Hi uh, YouTube, Edward Tendall here. Let's see what this is. Edward Tendall here. Sarah Tendall. Say hey Sarah. Can you give me can you give me some fist bump? Fist bump. Fist bump. Uh, give me some fist bump. Alright, come on. Come on. We're fixing to do an unboxing. You're gonna leave me hanging? You're gonna leave me hanging? Don't you laugh about it. Give me, there you go, there you go. All right, all right. That's my girl. All right, we're gonna unbox another Tar Heel Ant thing today. This is the other part of the first package that we unboxed before. If y'all didn't see it, definitely check out the playlist, uh, Mikey's Epic Ant Tower. Uh, adventure or something something like that okay we have magnets and stoppers and some very powerful magnets wow unbelievable what else we got in here bunches of these foam peanuts I'm trying to keep from getting everywhere whoa Whoa. Well, there is an absolute lot in here. He packed this in one big piece. Last time it was packed differently. This is cool, though. Look at that. It comes packed like that. One thing about Mac, he knows how to pack. My name is Mac, and I know how to pack. <laughs> All right, that's it in that box. Let's see what we got in here now. Alright. Let's get the eyes on the prize. I'm going to show you all how I dig through this because it's dangerous. You can cut something, tear up something. Hurts your formicarium. You don't want to do that. Be very careful about it. i to be as fast as I can about it, but he packs good, so we got the pack with extra feeder, forceps, and flu on. We got Nestmates plug. Ooh, we got a gray plug. A gray 3D printed plug. That is cool. Something different. Let's turn the white. And here is a specialty piece right here, people. This was specifically made. This is why we got the magnets, by the way. We got the magnets and the stickers, I guess, to put on. If we didn't get the stickers, I got Gorilla Glue. I'll glue, Gorilla Glue it together. I bought a special piece of museum glass that has no glare. It's going on the formicarium that we built. So this piece completes the formicarium that I built. And he, he's a uh, Mac at Tar Heel Ants is awesome. He will accommodate just about anything that you want. For a speed, of course, but well worth it. This museum glass. Yep, I guess he grinds the edges or something, keeps from being cut. Nice, right, check out that. Can you see it? I know you can't hardly see it. I'm holding a piece of glass. And I move it up here. You can't even see that there's a glass there. There's a glass behind there. Museum glass is the best. You can see a little bit of reflection, but not much. So this, I'm going to stop y'all right there for a minute. This glass goes to this homemade form of carry that I made, which is absolutely amazing. So it's got a vent hole there, vent hole there. It's got a nest mate hooked to a tube, concrete and stuff all the way around it. And there's an entrance hole right there. You can see the ants, a little water bowl that don't work. So the museum glass is going to go right here on top of this like that. It's going to be magneted on there. I'll have to put some kind of handle on there where I can get it off, but that's how it's going to go. So you can't even see that it's on there. Isn't that cool? See how there's reflection everywhere but the museum glass? Where's the light at? 
we'll just let's see kind of demonstrate how well, it's not really doing it you can see how I move across there you can see through the museum glass a lot clearer than you can the actual acrylic so that is that I'm going to set that to the side real quick that's the last piece of that puzzle let's see what we got in here let's see what we got in here now Got your other thing fixed, baby girl. What do you think? What do you think, darling? We got your other one fixed. Yay! Yep, yeah, should we be able to see that soon? Um, let's see here. Now, this is kind of tricky. You don't want to mess these things up, like I said. Um, you try to find a way to cut it open without damaging everything. Or just take your time and unwrap it, but when you unwrap it to a certain point, you don't want it to all fall all over the place either. You know what I mean? I'm going to get my finger in here. Put my finger in harm's way instead of the actual form of carry -on. I'm filming this whole thing, not to be boring, but to show y'all what you go through so you don't destroy what you have. You can cut it up, scratch it up, all kinds of stuff. Well, there's another layer off. Don't know what this is. Oh, that is nice. Nice indeed. So there, you got some good stuff, baby girl. Yeah, baby, good stuff. Yeah, this form of carrying is definitely different than the last ones we ordered. This is in black instead of instead of green, for one thing. It's the extra large mini hearth. And we're going to put, I have a species of ant to put in here. That's something interesting also about these. I've noticed every one of these are different. You'd think that you'd build some kind of silicone mold or something to build these, but every one of them you can tell are handmade because from what I can tell so far no two are alike they're all unique and different and wonderful wow Mac you really went all out on that one buddy as far as I know these have glow I'm not sure though we'll have to see what's that theory Yep, glow. Don't take much light to get it glowing. Yep, this one's gonna have a a species of Campanatus in it. A big growing Campanatus species. That's awesome, what do you think, baby girl? What do you think about your new one? Let's see what Sarah thinks about her new one. Oh. Hold on a minute. What do you think about your new one, baby? Look at that. You'll be able to see in there. You'll be able to see in there, big ants. Oh yes, that was for my baby. Yep, it really went all out, Mac. These things are nice. Nice, 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 look at that. Also museum glass, wouldn't have it any other way. 100% escape proof. Nothing can get out of there. And here's four little ones. Four little ones, I guess. Yeah. You gotta watch the seam and cut very carefully. So you don't cut into the glass on here. That would be sad. Scratching it up. Okay, so there's that. Look how he packs these people. He packs now. Let me tell you. This is how I do it. I, I follow the seam to keep from scratching the paint or the glass on there. And I just peel them apart. You can see every one has been individually wrapped. He really goes all out. It's 100% guarantee you're going to get a package from Tar Hill Ants and there's not going to be no damage. 
I've seen a couple of reviews where things are missing, but I've seen reviews where um, you put extra stuff in there too. When something's missing, people definitely um, get back with them in a hurry, but it's funny because whenever something's not missing or if something's extra, nobody ever says anything about it. That's uh, funny, huh? Alright, there's that one. Look at that. Also black color. No decor or nothing because it's easier to clean and take care of. So there's that one. I want to show you all the different ones. If you got a minute to hang with me. Oh, and they're all interchangeable. See how they stick together? You can put as many as you want together. It'll just keep on keep on stacking them to infinity. If you want to, these things are perfect. And once that magnetic thing sticks, it's on. It ain't coming off. And uh, when I'm trying to have something for my wife, I have to have a quality product because I can't have ants getting loose and messing up my wife. So we'll go to the most professional ant thing I know. See how all three of these are different? Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. Isn't that cool? They all stick right together. So there it is. Let me go on then three little ones and then two big one, big little one. yep all right and these go to these actually get to my cousin these actually get to my cousin so he's got two big ones and a little one and that'll be two more little ones Gotta make five for him and five for Sarah. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, five each. His are all black and hers are two green and then black. So that is that, friends. Um, I'm going to put all this stuff together. I'm not going to open these. I'm just going to leave them packed like that so I can reship them. But uh, there's Sarah's new setup right here. It's going to house Campanatus. Three of them together. It's really cool. Look how, look how sturdy they are. So you can see how every one's got a different interior. There's no stalactites in these, which I like stalactites in there. I just didn't have them put in there for some reason, but it's cool. All right, uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. Let's see if there's glow in every one of them. Nope, no glow in that one. There's glow in the big one. No glow in that one. So the big one's the only one that glows on here, and then two not glow. And then... This one glows a little bit. And no glow. Okay, so some glow and some don't. One of these glow, one of them don't. And two of these don't glow and that one glows. So anyway, y'all stay tuned and let me know what you think in the comments below. Definitely check out Tar Hill Ants. His YouTube videos are amazing and very educational. So let me know what you think about all of this stuff. And uh Hopefully I'll be getting some killer uh, macro mode ant feeding videos and stuff like that in the future. Stay tuned friends. Tundle out.